Hi, hello, and welcome to the Daily Tarot Buffet brought to you by Vertex of Abundance. My name is Serene Peace of the I'll be your oracle today. And I was going to deliberate the findings for the transiting moon into Pisces. It's going to be mostly between the 16th and the 18th. September, give or take half a day, depending on where you are in the world. And this is actually a seventh house event, which means there's a full moon. You have a few transits, okay? Quite a few, a couple few. So if you see the Mars card for trying moon trining Mars, that's the tower. Opposing Mercury, so that'll be the magician card conjuncting Saturn. So that'll be the world card squaring Pluto. So that'll be the will of fortune. Of course, the sun and the moon. So high priestess and or the moon card with the sun. That's a full moon. And then the hangman, because the moon is conjuncting Neptune. And that'll be it. So we have tower, Mercury, world card, will of fortune, sun card or the hangman. Okay, well, there's the world card. There's the moon card. Okay, so we definitely have a Virgo midheaven here. Sun in Virgo. And if anything that I said resonates deeply with you, like, comment, share, subscribe, leave a review, book a session, send a donation. I want to welcome all the new subscribers. Welcome home, you belong. I want to welcome back all the returning subscribers. Thank you for your continued support. I want to say Vertex of Abundance is a galactic temple of ascension, delivering sacred messages from behind the veil. Okay. If anything that I said resonates deeply with you, like, comment, share, subscribe, leave a review, book a session, send a donation. And as always, check the show notes, the about section or the description page for more information and resources available to you. Let us begin. So when we have the moon and the hermit card, that's getting to the depths of our subconscious. We're mastering something from this soul searching that we're doing, hermit and the, I just heard the magician, but the king of pentacles. And it's brought us some kind of achievement With the world card here, it's it's enabled us to secure something in this depths of the subconscious. It needed we had to have a deep transformation and an illumination, enlightenment. And I do want to say that it, it brought something to the fore for us with this ten of swords. Now we have so Virgo Midheaven is a Sagittarius rising. We have the Knight of Wands here with the Seven of Wands. So that's desiring to stand your ground. That's desiring to stand our ground here. With the Five of Cups, Eight of Wands, Five of Wands. So we have a pair of fives here. There was some kind of depletion, debilitation, loss, but it was healthy, we healed from it with the temperance card. There definitely is a Sagittarius rising here. To a lesser degree can be Aries rising or Mars and Aries, especially with the tower card here, which we told about already. Um, the moon is trining Mars. So that's an opportunity um, Yeah, that's an opportunity. And we have the magician here, which the moon is opposed so that means Mercury is in 
Virgo, that's where it's exalted. So we figured something out here. We did some soul searching with the Hermit and the Magician with the um, Moon card. There was some kind of um, work. Basically, we found a gift, or probably intuitive or spiritual. We now know things about our subconscious, about our inner self, about our, our we have insight into our own self. And it was kind of shocking with this tower card, we had to kind of let some aspect of our former self die. And we prepared ourselves quite properly with the chariot and the hermit. That's some kind of um, success as a teacher or finding and teaching or even teaching ourselves something dually true with this magician card. We actually found self-master, self-guidance uh, with this hermit here and it's a, it, it's a, it's quite proper and senior with this hermit it means we got it through soul searching and you know wisdom is basically knowledge intellect that's been experienced not to supply so we were able to triumph over ourselves So I'm detecting that we might have had a contact with our twin because it's seventh house events, so open enemies, but also one-on-one -on -one connections, basically future partnerships. So we might have had a contact with our spent twin in the physical, especially with this temperance card. That's the twin flame connection. And I know New Age has made the twin flame bad. I don't, I don't condone any toxicity. Um, but we, we're, we're being guided into smoother waters. We're being guided by the ancestors here with the Six of Swords. It was kind of necessary with the Nine of Swords. We did have to go through a Dark Knight of the Soul, Moon card, Nine of Swords. Uh, we, kind of, we, we had to find our way out of the dark, and we did that through soul searching, looking within ourselves. We had to repel some things, perhaps even leave some people behind with the side of the wand. The basic, the petty, the people who didn't stand up, stick up. They didn't, they didn't pass muster. With the five of cups, we had to disappoint some people. But this was the work that we needed to do. This was so that we would be in the right place. We had to be in alignment according to our spirit coming life path destiny in order to yield out of our life. There's the sun here in Virgo for sure with the king of pentacles, the hermit card and the eight of pentacles definitely have a sun in, in Virgo. And we have three fives here. So a pair of fives we had to let some things go in order to get into alignment with our path. Because they, it was becoming burdensome. We were carrying too much around. It was an oppressive, difficult cycle. I don't think we had a lot to do or we have a lot to do because we're finally on the path, but it required us letting things go to defend our spot. Our spot might be, might've might been slipping. We could have had a crisis of faith that's what I'm hearing, but I don't see the faith here. There's no star card. There's no eight of cups. Really, it's an initiation with this chariot card. It came through being stuck in some kind of spot, nine of swords. The crisis might be because we're starting to feel the energy of our twin, but they haven't shown up in the physical. So we've reached spiritual union, not yet physical union. Things are moving along slowly, but we have clarity and discernment, which is necessary. 
there was some kind of stripping or depletion or forced change. Three fives means chaos. Two fives means chaos. Three fives means anarchy. Four fives would mean pandemonium, uh, you know, hell on earth. Um, but that could also just be the Ten of Wands with the Devil card, um, hell on earth. So the, we're pre-pandemonium here. We were getting too far gone and we got snatched back because the Nine of Swords, the Tower and the Cherry would say that things got as bad as they could get. See, sometimes when the pain to change is lesser than the pain to stay the same, we finally make change. You know, adversity is the catalyst for success. Pain returns us to the path. Austerity cleanses. Yeah, we found our spiritual side. Three of Wands, Two of Cups, Two of Cups is repeated in here. We found our spiritual side, and it's one of those heavy duty spirits, probably a warrior spirit. It can be that our father's side, in terms of our ancestry, we call that Papa Ade Atrosi. <laughs> Excuse me. And I keep hearing Oshimade, but I don't see the star card or the lover's card, although. We have the nine and 10 of swords, so that's the lovers there. But again, it means that the father side, Papa Ade, came for our ass. Bodun et Papa Ade. And with the ace, because I'm seeing an ace of one, but with the emperor, the imperatore, il carro, that's Adeloso. Yeah, the Igungun came for us. The male ancestors on the father said the spiritual police came for us because we weren't on the path. And the, the spirits, the ancestors are saying that there was too much for us. They did sacrifice too much. They, they chose us. We were chosen and we were not fulfilling our duty. And so they started to strip us. They were going to start not just our money, but our health. They blocked love from coming in. And they also started to banish us. And to mark us, we were going to get a spiritual mark placed on us, like the mark of Cain, something of that nature, because we were being disobedient. So until they gave clearance, six of swords, we were not going to get any material blessings, any spiritual blessings. And honestly, we weren't going to get any rank increase or extra spiritual power, five of ones. So we got... Um, throttled and thrashed pretty quite properly by the ancestors and it's confirmed here. King of Swords, Chariot, that's Adeloso, Atrosi, Ade. Um, and here's that Ace of Wands I was, I was getting. So we were teetering towards hell, mainly because we were unguided. We didn't have anything to stand for really. And they were like, no, 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 baby, because you were chosen and the kingdom of heaven is with you. You are going to get this right, period. So they had to wrangle us down here. Because there's magic in the family. There's some kind of healing gift. And here's that Tahosu Oshimare. Right here, remember saying the lovers card and the the oh, I can't think right now. My intuition is on point at this present precise most particular moment. But here's a message from them. Yeah, they were getting disappointed. They were like, don't act like we made the wrong choice. You're the chosen one. You're the chosen son. Yeah, so we had that Persephone situation going on, stuck in hell for six months out of the year. Yeah, remember why you came here. Remember your life is sacred. Blessed we are. Yeah, I'm totally getting priestess songs right now. So... Um, this was a wake up call tower because um, the enemy was on our gate, was on our, was encroaching. 
And we were of an opposing mind. There was no way for them to get through us. So they had to break us down. So we would actually listen. So we recognize they needed to make it where the situation was bad enough for us on our own to have a bigger, broader, better will to improve our situation. Because naturally we weren't, yeah, we needed to return home, Six of Cups. We needed to get saved. Yeah, and return to our own devices because there was some kind of lack of self-worth and value, some kind of lack of what we deserve. And yeah, so they put a block to the road that we were on. They closed our road for a moment and we're coming out of that. Got duties and responsibilities here. We did the triple five. We accomplished something during this dark night of the soul. So if something's coming forward, whatever we did to get out of the doctrines that we were in, we get to continue that now in the future when it might have been, what I'm being told is that we did something that we thought was going to be temporary to get out of the hole that we were in. And I'm not talking about a financial hole. We kind of fell into the darkness a little bit. And we get to continue doing that thing. And I, we thought we, it was going to be temporary. Could we create some kind of spot for ourselves? And now we get to take massive action continually towards this thing. There may be an Aries midheaven, which we talk about a cancer rising. It could be sun in Aries. Same thing with Sagittarius. Sagittarius Midheaven, which is a Pisces rising, or Sun in Sagittarius, can be an Aries rising, Sagittarius rising. We could have our Mars in Scorpio. So the seventh house is open enemies. We can have our Mars in Cancer or be a Cancer rising. But there's also something about a full moon. So a full moon is the end of a karmic cycle because we're we're finally worthy of our spiritual inheritance and it was blocked for a while. We have a pair of fours here. We also have two kings. So that's partnerships, alliances. Remember this pair of kings. And thank you. Yeah, something was moving slow. We finally got into lockstep with the spiritual world. What happened is we went through some kind of spiritual initiation. And we're actually at a very high rank. That's what this hermit card is talking about. Tell me about this pair of fours. Yeah, again, we've secured some type of rank increase. We're getting a rank increase. Because there's two fours here and the three fours in this clarification. So um, this is a straightforward reading. 
we had to combat ourselves. It's like our own self vetting process. And we have a report from the other side. So we mastered something, King of Swords. Really what's going on is we became worthy of our spiritual rank unless this means moon and Virgo. Because we went through the fire. Honestly, we got a message from the Gede, the ancestors that came before us, walked besides the ones that are unnamed, but we lost, we don't know where they are. For the melanated people here, we lost them in slavery. They're, they're at the bottom of the sea in the Gede, the unnamed cemetery. And um, this is true, the truth. The verification and skill. When the justice card and the temperance card comes up, it's a test, an evaluation test, not, I mean, an examination test, not an evaluation. We got, the ancestors were like, okay, we may have to withdraw our favor. Let's make sure this child is worthy of our choice. And so we went through the fire here and we passed, we, we got initiated. It took a while, it was very hard. So we're coming up out of this. Okay, it's a yes. And um, now we're on the river stick. So we were in hell for a moment and now we're out. There were some terms of conditions, mainly us having a clean heart, a pure heart, being loving, caring, and kind, and especially to ourselves, and it happened. We did the thing, and it was yes. And the spirit that tested us, his name is Achosi. You can look that up in Wikipedia, O-C-H-O-S-I. Now, in different pantheons, we call them different names. Okay, it's the male ancestors. So it, it's um, Matruna, in India, um, it's Igungun in some pantheons, it's Achosi in Vudun, it's Papa Ade, Adeloso. There's even boys that are named that name. Ade can mean you were born on Tuesday, or it could mean that you're the firstborn son, or it could mean that um, you're carrying on the father's legacy. It, it, it's, it's multiple that, and um, that's what I'm getting. So, the name of this reading is it's it's this is called spiritual humility is what they're telling me but this this combination means Strong healer is what this means. So we're going to come into our spiritual inheritance through being a strong healer. Strength and humility. Strong healer. Strong and humble. Strong and humble. It's been an honor and a pleasure to serve you. Thank you for allowing me the privilege to do so. Smash that like button. Bye-bye.